is going on guys so as you can see by the title of the video I'm gonna be going over my push workout from this week I just started a new workout routine if you follow me on Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you do go check that out but if you do follow me you've already seen that I started a new workout routine like I just mentioned a four days on one day off style routine and I'm really focusing on moving towards a bulk right now it's not gonna be anything intensive I'm shooting for about a half a pound to a pound per week increasing as I'm going forward here just to start out making sure I'm not moving too fast but not also moving too slowly so I weighed about 151 pounds this morning I'll throw up a quick clip here of what I'm looking like just super honest lighting just a really quick update and then um, the rest of the video as you can see by the title is going to be me talking about my first workout from the new split and that was my push day so my push workouts and push workouts in general if you're not familiar with them mostly comprise of as you can guess pushing movements so usually they're targeting the chest shoulders and triceps and in this specific case it was a lot of direct chest and shoulder work um, with a little bit of indirect tricep work through all of the pressing itself since obviously your triceps are going to be incorporated in a lot of the pressing so that's kind of how I went around about structuring this routine and kind of the background behind it um, and that's really what a push workout for me looks like so basically kind of getting into everything and I'm going to show you some of the clips on the side here so you know which exercises I'm talking about getting into things we started out with a dumbbell flat bench and you could definitely do a dumbbell barbell bench but I typically like to feel um, and I do feel the dumbbell press a little bit better in my pecs and that's just preference I also get a little bit of shoulder pain and a little bit of shoulder takeover when I'm doing barbell bench I find so I feel like I get a little bit better overall workout for the chest when I do dumbbell flat bench so I did four sets of three to five reps working my way up slowly into those three to five reps because obviously that's gonna be a little bit heavier so I took my time warming up for, with about two to three sets working towards that working weight so um, a lot of people ask me about that as far as warm-ups and you can take as much time as you need but the thing is you don't want to be overdoing it where you're stimulating the muscle or fatiguing the muscle rather and you're really overdoing it with the warm-ups um, but at the same time from the other end of the spectrum you don't want to under warm up where you're going to put yourself at risk for injury so that was the first movement we then moved on to a single arm standing shoulder press I really like the standing variation because the scientific literature actually shows that standing variations for shoulder press are going to increase the actual lateral delt activation that you're getting and the lateral delt is what's going to give you that cap look when you are standing so that's something I like to incorporate I really like the single arm shoulder press because you do get a little bit easier um, sort of lift up with a dumbbell since you're only doing one at a time versus standing with both it's a little harder to go heavy and when you go single arm it really focuses you to focus really forces you to focus on one arm at a time um, and that helps you in with engagement and also it incorporates your core since you're kind of having to compensate and make sure that you are not leaning and you're not tipping when it comes to counterbalancing the weight so kind of a, a two birds with one stone effect there I did three sets of eight to ten reps on the single arm shoulder press moving on then we did a dumbbell incline to really hit that upper chest a little bit more that a lot of people have um, sort of lagging behind the lower chest um, and, and just the rest of the pecs themselves compared to the upper chest so we did four sets pyramiding down in reps up in weight ideally so we did four sets of 15 12 10 8 so like I said you're ultimately trying to increase the weight each set about five pounds as the reps are decreasing so after that we then moved on to a machine chest press um, you'll, you'll see the machine I ended up using you can pick the machine here but I went with a incline machine press and I did a slow and controlled negative with an explosive or normal tempo positive or concentric so essentially the eccentric portion where the weight is being lowered that was a slow and controlled negative eccentric negative same thing or the positive or the concentric where I'm actually pressing back up was a normal tempo really lighting up the chest they're really focusing on the chest really getting a good shoulder retraction so that you aren't hunched over and those chest and those pecs are really pronounced and feeling the majority of the tension so three sets of eight to ten there and we paired that we superseted it with dumbbell lateral raises higher reps for three sets of 20 15 and 12 so same thing there I actually worked myself up in weight as the reps were going down but I really didn't go very heavy there you don't have to go very heavy especially with those higher reps 
on the dumbbell lateral raise. I would much rather have you focusing on the technique and the engagement, making sure you're not having those front delts take over, but really engaging those lateral delts. So the last thing we finished up with was another superset, a machine pec fly, three sets of 12 to 15, just really focusing on getting a good squeeze. Sometimes I like to go with my hands open, but I found and I've, I'm actually kind of making the decision that I'm gonna be going with my hands closed and seeing how that affects things for this specific mesocycle that I'm gonna be going through, this specific training cycle. So with that, I paired it with a close grip med ball push up. As you guys know with my training, with ankle athletics, it's really all about being an athlete when it comes down to it. We wanna build muscle, we wanna look good, but we also wanna be building athletic based movements, kind of like I mentioned with the shoulder press, two birds with one stone there. So with the push ups, it's a great pump because you have your hands on the med ball, almost like a hex press, really good squeeze in the inner chest, if I can say that, and a good pressing movement for the triceps to really light up the triceps. So it's a, just a great movement to finish with, but I also like it because you're incorporating your core for the overall stability, as well as the stability for your shoulders because you're forced to stabilize through your shoulders as you're doing the push-ups themselves. So really really great movement there there's a few variations you can do if that is too difficult on the ground itself you can actually put the med ball on an incline bench or a box and do incline push-ups there still a great way to get more reps in or to make it more challenging you can actually raise your feet up on a box and still do the push-ups that way so hopefully you guys like this video like i said my new four days on one day off routine is actually my get moving 2.0 routine so some of you might have heard of my get moving routine which was released about a year ago now had a lot of great feedback from that and I kind of revamped things, tweaked a little bit of things um, and really am going to be benefiting um, and showing you guys the benefits through these YouTube videos and just showing you the progression that I'm making through this. So if you want to join the routine, if you want to jump on the Get Moving 2.0, shoot me an email down below or shoot me a message on Instagram. I can get you set up with that and you can bulk with me as we move towards the winter here. But Really just wanted to show you guys this video, give you guys an example of my push workout from the four days on, one day off routine, and really, like I said, just give you guys some insight and some tips. So hopefully this helped. If it did, drop a like below, and I'll be doing more of these videos along as I get through the routine here, and I really just hope you guys are enjoying them. So it's good to be back on here. I actually do have a few other things that I'm going to be incorporating into the channel that I think you guys will really like, and just a lot more content for you guys than I've been doing in the past year, which there's going to be reasons why that's going to be able to happen. And I think you guys are going to be excited about that. So stay tuned. Drop some comments below if you have any questions. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.